Act of Magisterium. The New Beginning of the Sons of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Mary, the Immaculate, humanity experiences a new beginning. A new beginning to which all those who cherish the dogma of Christianity and all men and women of good will who believe in He who is the way, the truth, and the life must cling. This is the message of Christ, ancient and new at the same time, timeless and eternal, who through Mary, Mother Church, once again, in these hard and difficult times, to convey to the whole world. The sons of the Mother Church belong to the only truth, to the only message that has never changed from the beginning to today, and which will never change. The children of the Mother Church respect the one truth that saves, Christ, they respect that love who in the Son is person, they respect life, Christ, they respect the great gift the Father has given to all, the breath of life. As a result of this, here is the new, close relationship that there must be more and more between the Creator and His creatures. The Creator distributed His talents to His creatures, so that they could deepen and grow, in order to understand the mystery of life. Now, more than ever, science and faith must be able to walk together, until the time when science must progress and never regress, trying to replace the Father Creator and then come to a point, be able to look inward and say, so far I can, but beyond that I cannot, for there is infinity. And there is the Creator. Here is the acceleration that will now be. Here is that now more than ever the words of the Gospel will be fulfilled in fullness. There will be those who will believe and there will be those who will remain unbelievers and go about doing the same things, without any trace remaining in their hearts of the words proclaimed by Jesus. Appearance takes and will increasingly take over in hearts who live far from God or who live a God made to their measure, giving their own image to what may be God's. So in appearance anyone can and will always be able to say they are God or work on God's behalf or be God's spokesman or witness, but of an anonymous and imaginary God. That is why what is written in the Gospel will happen, to shake the earth and consciences and to give justice to God's children, to those oppressed because of human injustice, to the last, the little ones, to all those who cry out and invoke the name of the true God. All that is written and must happen is already taking place. Nature is rebelling by no longer bearing fruit and making the earth barren, just as hearts have become barren. Seasons will no longer be known as they were. Upheavals are taking place and will take place. Despite this, there will always be those who having hardened their hearts will continue to do what they have always done, trying to live this earth as if it were private property to be defended, at the expense of their brothers and sisters. Here are territories that are and will be plundered, destroyed, and there will be brothers against brothers, weapons that will destroy and take away freedom, just as is already happening now. Despite this, few are those who act so that it all ends. Instead, so many, for their own personal gain, try to intervene by talking, talking, talking. Here is the action of God's enemy that clouds minds and inflames those hearts who in their innermost selves always want to seek supremacy over their neighbor. Here is the demonic action that takes over in those hearts, uniting humanity with what can be considered spirituality. Here is that holy war who others want to carry on, trying to make the world abjure the true God. In this context, the cross that illuminates the world the only cross of resurrection and light is advancing and will advance more and more, plowing through this world to ensure that the one truth remains clear and a bulwark for all. Here is the comeback of the children of God who, like a sprouted seed, advances to proclaim the truth, in the one love who saves, Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. I saw a new earth and a new heaven and the one who is seated on the throne for eternity no longer an immolated lamb, but behold the victorious lamb who brings the people to live the new Jerusalem. Here is the dwelling place of God among men where peace and love reign, where sanctity is in all, where the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are. An everlasting day, where the light shines eternally, where God's wisdom covers all and fills all, for all are. Here is eternity, 
where a pure and holy love circulates and is. Nothing from before will be. All will be forgotten, sorrows, faults, mistakes, past loves, futile and trifling. And everything is concentrated in the one love. Here is the true brotherhood fulfilled and alive. Praises will be raised to God and prayer will be the fundamental center. And all the saved there will be and dwell there, with Christ and with Mary. December 8, 2022 Solemn Feast of the Immaculate Conception of Mary Most Holy Beginning of the Liturgical Year 2023 The Pontiff Samuel